Hi guys, in this video tutorial, we're going to look at membership and listing packages for your online dating website. So let's get started. Welcome back. So firstly, we're going to go to the admin area of our WordPress website. We're going to click on premium press. And we're going to click on settings. Now within the premium press dating thing, we have two separate options. We have listing packages, which is under listing settings, and we have membership package, which is under the membership options. Now let's consider two different setup options. In setup one, we're creating an agency website where users can create multiple profiles. And in setup two, we're creating a dating website where users can only create one profile per account. So let's go ahead and set that up. So in setup one, to create a website that allows users to create multiple profiles, we simply enable um, listing packages, we turn listing packages on, and where it says how many listings each member can create, we click on unlimited listings. Now you'll notice if you've saved the changes, you can go down and click on listing packages. And here you can set up up to 10 different listing packages. This scenario is great for users who are creating escort or agency websites, where an agent would create multiple profiles on behalf of their escorts. Now, if you're going to create in scenario two, so let's go back, listing settings. If we're going to create a dating website where we only want users to create one profile, under how many, we simply change this to one listing. And since users would create a membership package and not listing packages, we would turn off listing packages. We go down, click save settings, and you'll notice if you scroll down, the listing packages have gone. You can obviously still create listing promotions, allowing the user to upgrade their profile or the, on their dating website. So now let's consider adding memberships on top of listing packages. So obviously the listing package only allows the user to create a single listing or multiple listing depending upon your setup. Now we're going to add memberships on top. Now a membership in setup one where you've created an agency or an escort website would basically refer to the members. So users would create an, a membership so that they could view the escorts details and profile photos etc in setup 2 the dating website setup you might want memberships as part of the registration so that users can create a free profile only after they join your website via a membership okay so now let's look at memberships we scroll down we click on memberships now membership options obviously are available here and can be turned on and off so you can turn on and off the membership system depending upon whether or not you're going to use it if you decide to use the membership system, then you have the option to set it onto the registration page, which will force users to pay for a membership before they can join your website. So we can turn this on and off here. If you've decided not to force users to join uh, to subscribe, you can gift them a free membership or a membership during um, the sign-up process by selecting it here. Now, obviously, by default, there is no membership assigned to the user's account by default, but by all means, provide a free one should you decide to do so. And obviously when we scroll down, we have the membership packages. So here we can set up the package information and the membership access options. So in the setup one scenario, which is an agency website, you might want to allow users to register on your website for free and then sign up for a membership once they've logged in. In that case, we would enable memberships. We would not force the membership upon registration, but when they create their account, they could be set up to a specific membership if you wished. And then obviously they could then be they could then just choose whether or not they wanted to purchase a membership afterwards. In the case of setup two, a dating website where you want to force users to register uh, under a membership when they join your website, you would turn show on registration, which means users would then be forced to pay for a membership when they join your website, and then set up the membership access options accordingly. So now let's look at the front end and see what the settings look like. If we're going to create in setup one, which is an escort or an agency website, if we try to view any of the escorts and we've, we've already set the option so that they have to log in before they can view, you'll notice the redirected straight uh, directly to the membership pricing page. But you'll also notice that because we didn't force the membership. So if we go to the admin under the setup options for membership, we didn't force the show on registration. When we go back to the website, and try to sign in, we can still create an account for free. So we can still create a free account and then log in as a normal user 
and then access the memberships via the, the um, members area. So let me show you. When we're into the actual account area, we can view the memberships under my memberships. So here we see we have no active memberships, so we can go ahead and obviously pay for it this way. So as a agency website where you just want the viewers to sign up first before they pay for anything, so you could view in the profile, for example. So now we've created an account, but we haven't paid for it. We've simply created the account. I can now limit access to specific content based on my membership level. So this way, I'm not forcing the users to purchase a membership until they've seen some of the website and then they can decide on their own free will what they want to purchase. So now let's look at scenario two, which is a dating website. So if we select one of the dating website designs. In scenario two, we're using the option in the admin under memberships. This time we've set the show on registration, which means when we go to the website, if we try to view a profile, we are redirected to the registration page or the sign up page or login page, whichever one you've got set up. And from here, the user is either asked to access the website using the paid subscription. So this is your membership options or the login if they're an existing member already. You'll also notice that if I click on any of the sign up options, there's no way for me to actually join the website without going through this page. So the users must sign up now, either uh, again by creating a membership or if they've already an existing account, they can log in. Once they log into their account, you can click on the My Membership Options to view the current membership subscription uh, and then see what access permissions they have, which is obviously what you've set up via the admin area.